With these thoughts in mind, what would be a fair price to pay for everlasting life? It is utterly without price. Yet if we trust in our own goodness to enter heaven, we are saying to God, I should enter heaven because I have done good. I have earned my way in. Imagine if you wanted to give me a brand new, very expensive car, but I said, I can't take it. I feel embarrassed receiving such a gift. Here's ten cents for it. I'm sure you would be very insulted by such a pathetic offer of payment. Besides, if I pay for it, it is no longer a gift. It's a purchase. It's mine by right. When we talk of entering heaven by being good, by trying to keep the Ten Commandments and other good deeds, we are tossing God ten cents of self-righteousness, which is a terrible insult to Him in light of His sacrifice. The only thing we can do is humble ourselves, repent of our sins, that means turn away from our sins, stop doing the evil that we do, and receive the gift by trusting Jesus Christ alone. Jesus Christ is the only way. He says so in John 14:6 when he says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. No other religion, no other good deed can allow you access to live with God forever. It is your choice to decide whether you want to live with God forever or to reject Him and suffer all of eternity in hell. Almighty God de demonstrated how much He loves us when Jesus suffered for you and I on the cross. If you want to trust in your own goodness, then you are saying His agonizing death on the cross was in vain. The Bible says, For by grace you are saved and through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God. You cannot earn a gift. When Jesus said to believe on Him, He was saying we should have faith in Him, in the same way you should trust a parachute to save you when you jump from a plane. You don't merely believe in the parachute, you put it on. Please don't jump without Jesus. If you die in your sins, there is no second chance. There is no purgatory, not even in the Catholic Bible. God will give you justice, and you will end up in hell forever. Any troubles you have at present are dwarfed by the trouble you are in with your Creator. His wrath abides upon you, according to John 3.36. God doesn't want you to go to hell. Neither do I. Neither do you want to go there. So confess your sins to God right now. Put your trust in Jesus to save you, and you will pass from death to life. Then read the Bible daily and obey what you read. Find a church where they actually open up the Bible and teach out of it. Your obedience to God is proof of your love. Have faith in God. He will never fail you. Pray to God. Pray something like this. Dear God, today I turn away from all my sins. Name your sins. Look at the Ten Commandments as listed in Exodus 20 to help you with this. Pray to God. This day I put my trust in Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. He is the only way for me to be saved. He is the only truth and the life. Please forgive me. Change my heart and grant me your gift of everlasting life. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.